Null objects, what are they? You already know what they are. Do you? Are you sure? Maybe there's more to them than you might think. I think there might be. Let's dive in. A null object in After Effects is like an invisible container that you can use to control other things in your animation. It doesn't show up in your final video, but you can attach layers to it to move, rotate, or scale them all together. They're basically really handy for organizing and animating your project more efficiently. Today I'm going to show you five practical ways to use null objects in After Effects. It's a journey into the technical side of animation that promises to streamline your workflow and add a touch of finesse to your projects. So let's dive in and uncover the secrets of null objects. Side note, if you watch for just 60 more seconds, I'll tell you how to get these sick prism effects and how to bring them into After Effects while your client have them hug you with joy and then pay you more money. But don't get distracted though, focus on this tutorial, we'll get to that part of the video soon. Trick one, parenting layers. Null objects can control certain properties of layers connected to them without affecting the layers themselves. So let's take for instance, we have three rotating shape layers here and we want them slightly rotated without affecting the rotation. What we can do is we can create a null object by right clicking on the timeline, heading over to the new menu and selecting null object. After using the pick whip tool to parent the shape layers to the null object, we can now edit the transform properties of the null object and these changes will apply to our shape layers without disrupting their ordinary animations. Trick two, camera animation. Using a null object to control a camera in After Effects adds a touch of finesse to your animation. Imagine the camera as a tripod when you rotate the camera directly, it can sometimes be too extreme and unrealistic, like a wild sweep. However, if you connect the camera to a null object placed at the center of your design, make sure the null object is a 3D layer, by the way, it's like having a smoother pivot point for the camera, almost like a fancy tripod head. This makes the camera move around more naturally as if it's focused on the null object. It's a neat trick that makes your camera animations more professional and controlled without getting too wild or shaky. Now guys, I didn't forget about those prism effects. Thousands of you Olofemi channel watchers who've already clicked the link in the description in the past and have signed up for our $9 deal can literally get these prism effects right now at no additional cost. But if you haven't already signed up for Envato Elements, you can just click the link in the description. Just do it now. It takes like 30 seconds. ePRISM is just one of thousands of even better effects packs that you can download with an Envato Elements subscription. But let's just focus on ePRISM for a sec because our team actually made this pack. These 20 digital filters add a completely non-destructive prism effect to literally any piece of footage that you put it on. You need these, they're awesome. Link in the description. Let's get back to null objects. Trick three, expression controls. Null objects can be used to create custom controls like an on and off switch for the circle in our comp. And this is possible by applying what we call expression control effects like the checkbox control to a null object and going over to the opacity property of our shape layer and clicking the stopwatch while holding down the alt button. This will enable us to write an expression code. Don't be scared, this one's pretty easy. Make sure the checkbox control effect is visible in the effects controls panel and then head over to the expressions tab of the shape layer opacity and then use the pickwick tool to parent the opacity of the checkbox control and at the back of the expression, add this, star 100. And then boom, we've created an on and off switch for the shape layer using a null object and an expression code. Trick four, targeting for effects. Null objects can be used to control the positioning of certain properties in an effect. For instance, we have this solid layer with the CC Particle System 2 effect applied to it, and we also have this null object with a simple position animation on it. We can now parent the particle producer position to the null object position, making the particle producer position follow the null object animation. Trick five, creating audio visuals. Null objects play an important role when you're trying to make things react to music natively in After Effects. Let's say we want this circle to react to the music playing in the background. First, we need to right click on the audio layer and hover over the keyframe assistant menu, then click on convert audio to keyframes. This will automatically create a new null object with our audio layer represented in keyframes. And now we can parent the scale property of the circle to the both channel slider of the null object. And our circle will start reacting to the music. Here's a pro tip too. Add plus value to the end of your code and you'll bring back your ability to still be able to control the size of the circle via the scale parameter. That's it guys.